Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. As you can see, we are starting with Hadi Japan, who is at the end of his cruise. I'm not gonna even say off, because, I mean, I don't believe he's completely off, but who knows, maybe he is, because here he says off and starting today. So, what that means is that he was off of the cycle, he wasn't blasting. Since the Arnold Classic UK, he had a little rest. Six weeks of gear, which makes sense, especially because he's competing again. He's doing the Mr. Olympia, which is even more important than those Arnolds. But I still think this is a reasonable time for these top open guys to go off of the cycle. Six weeks is maybe a little bit on a low end, like eight weeks would probably be better, but since the Mr. Olympia is approaching, six weeks is like the minimum. So he took that time off, and now he's starting his cycle. And as you can see right here, he looks damn impressive, he looks like he didn't lose anything, maybe, I'm gonna show you a video, maybe you can see, like, a little bit loss in, in hardness, and that's about it, size-wise, conditioning-wise, he's still pretty much almost, almost stage ready, not quite, but he looks very good, check out the video, obviously it has a filter, and of course the lighting is great, and I'm sure he has a pump, so once again, he maybe looks a touch softer, a touch flatter, Maybe a touch smaller, but it's really hard to notice. He still has the size, he still has the vascularity, he still has a really low body fat percent. The fullness is there. He's like maybe 80-90% of his absolute best version, so he's there. He's holding it very well, and I believe during those six weeks, he was, I guess he was still cruising. He was still probably doing something. Again, I don't imagine Hadi going completely off, but uh, yeah, I believe he was still training very hard, eating properly, doing everything else, because he looks like this right now, how else would he look like this after going completely off of everything for 6 weeks? So he looks amazing right now, his prep is gonna start now, I mean prep, he's not gonna start dieting down, obviously he's like 2 weeks out conditioning, I mean I don't see the glutes and like the lower back, but even based on this video you can get the idea what he looks like and yeah, he's in a really good shape, so I guess now he has enough time to even start growing again, I wouldn't be too surprised if he actually made progress before the Mr. Olympia, but I don't think he's gonna go out of shape, I think he's gonna just stay disconditioned, just you know, get fuller, bigger, better, and then dial it down for the Mr. Olympia and uh, dominate. I'm pretty sure he's gonna win the Mr. Olympia this year. I never felt more confident about Hadi than right now. I mean, what he brought to the Arnold Classic was just undeniable. And I don't think Derek can bring something like that, really. Especially with the way he's looking right now, I, I don't see it. You know, Derek, maybe Samson can do something. Maybe Nick can surprise, but I think Hadi is the heavy favorite right now. Even though Derek won last year, what Hadi brought to the Arnold Classic stage was just far superior to Derek from the Mr. Olympia. Let's be real here. So in the caption here, he says, very interesting caption, in English, written in English, he says, So far, rest is enough, brother, it is better to start. Start until all words and all words are finished. Let's go, brother, rest is enough. Remember that the thumbnail is much larger in reality. So I'm assuming he Google translated this, so I'm not exactly sure what does it mean. Maybe he wrote it, actually, I'm not sure. But what he's saying basically is that the rest is finished, he's starting the prep right now, uh, it's better to start now than uh, when it's too late, and uh, he, I think the last part is about him being bigger in person than what he looks like uh, in videos in the photos. So, yeah, I mean, very, very interesting caption, and so his prep begins. Uh, once again, the whole idea, the whole topic right now, the, the whole question basically is... Can he regain his Mr. Olympia title? Can he repeat what Jay Cutler did? The only guy that ever got the Mr. Olympia back after he lost it was Jay Cutler. And can Hardy do that again this year? I think the odds are heavily in his favor. I am not saying that he was robbed of the Mr. Olympia. I do believe Derek earned that win. But Hardy was not at his best. He was significantly, significantly better this year. And if he repeats this look, this conditioning, and I think he can easily do that, and if Derek doesn't transform and comes in also much better, I think, I think Hadi's got it. I don't think Derek can improve that much. I really firmly believe that Hadi's gonna beat Derek this year. 
Now, the other thing is politics. A lot of people are saying that Hadi lost last year because he isn't the best ambassador. He's not promoting the sport as much as Derek can and, and is doing right now. So from the business perspective, it makes sense. It definitely does make sense to keep Derek there. He's doing a great job as an ambassador. But I really don't think the judges are being told by the IFBB or by the Mr. Olympia to judge a certain way, to give advantage to somebody. I could be wrong, maybe I'm naive, but I think the judging in the Mr. Olympia was done properly. I think it was the right call to put Derek up there at the first spot, but maybe I'm wrong once again. Of course, you guys are entitled to have your own opinion. After all, the sport is very subjective. Personally, I don't have a problem with this decision, but I think this year, Hadi can be that much superior that he's gonna blow Derek away and beat him. The real question is, can Samson surpass both of these guys? Because we all know he can do it, he has it. But is he gonna do it? Can he bring the conditioning? Well, seeing that now he's at the oxygen gym, I don't know if he can. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing hope, honestly. And as far as Nick Walker, I mean, let's wait and see him at the New York Pro, but, you know, he's also another wild card. Somebody who can, you know, shake things up and win the Mr. Olympia. We'll see, Mr. Olympia is gonna be very interesting, but as for right now, we know Hadi has started his prep, and at this point, he looks amazing. Tell me in the comment section down below, guys, do you think he's gonna win the Mr. Olympia, or at least be Derek Lansford this year? Alright, next up, we got a little physique update of Nathan Diasha, and as you guys know, he is being coached by Stefan Kinzel, and I think Nathan has been making progress ever since he started working with Stefan. Is that because he is doing something different that no other coach was doing with Nathan before? I mean, I don't think so. I think Stefan is just so dedicated, so passionate, that he makes Nathan very motivated as well. And it seemed like at one point recently that Nathan's career is coming to the end, but now it seems like it's been reignited, honestly. Now, I'm looking at his photo and I'm trying to see if there is any progress, and I think overall, Nathan does seem bigger, fuller, but still, if he wants to be like the top guy, you know, like a top six guy, he still needs more muscle, you know, he still needs to be wider, like the legs need to be wider, bigger, uh, arms as well, everything really, don't get me wrong, Nathan is big, he is massive, and he's in very good conditioning right here, so he doesn't need to get much, much sharper. I'm not sure which show he's planning to do, but I'm guessing also European shows like last year, like Spain, Italy, France, stuff like that. And I think he's better than he was last year. I think he's gonna get even better once his conditioning is dialed in completely. But as for right now, I think he made progress. And when I say he needs more muscle, I think he needs more muscle to be, to be a match to Samson Dauda or Derek Lansford or Harry Chupan or Nick Walker, I mean, he's already really massive, and he knows how to bring the harness, the conditioning, so he's a very, very good bodybuilder, definitely like a top 10, top 8 even, Olympia material, but in order to be the top, top echelon, he needs, I think he needs still a little bit more muscle, I would like to see those legs wider, fuller, also the arms, and I think he's working on it, and improving all those areas, I think right now, he looks bigger than he looked last year, the real question actually is, is he gonna be allowed to travel to the US and compete at the Mr. Olympia? I'm pretty sure he's gonna qualify, he qualified last year, I think he was robbed at that one show, they gave it to Regan, but I think he deserved to win both of the shows, Italy and Spain, and I'm pretty sure, I'm sure, 100% sure, that he's gonna qualify this year for the Mr. Olympia, especially the way he's looking right now, because he's looking better than last year, and the only... But you guys know that he had some legal issues and it's going to be very difficult to get him there to the US. But we'll see. Maybe he makes it. If he does, look at his physique. If he does, in my opinion, top 8 at the Mr. Olympia. Even this year with the stacked lineup. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Alright, we are 12 weeks out of witnessing a creation of a new IABB professional bodybuilder, Elliot Derman. This guy is, believe it or not, completely natural, vegan, and 12 years old, <laughs> I don't even know why I said it, it just came out, uh, anyways, he is not a pro, for some reason, but I mean, the reason is because he never tried, he never did a pro qualifier, 
he definitely has a pro worthy physique, no doubt about it. The back, not the best, but definitely good enough to turn pro. Now, as far as him as a pro bodybuilder, actually the back looks improved. Now that I'm seeing this, it's better than last time, the last year, a couple of years ago when he competed last. So it's definitely improved. Uh, look at this guy. I mean, so freaking round, so freaking muscular. You would assume, I'm sure you're thinking that he's a 212 guy or something like that, that he's shorter. He is not short, guys. He's actually, I think, 5 foot 11, something like that. And I think he's like 260 to 70. So he's actually a really big guy. I think he has like a structure. Uh, his legs are a bit stubby, shorter. So he seems shorter, but he's not short. He's actually freaking massive. And I don't know which show he's planning to do in 12 weeks, but I hope it also has a pro part the next day. Because this guy, I mean, I already feel sorry for the other guys who are going to try to qualify uh, at this show. They're going to just be smoked. Amateur ranks are definitely not his level. It's going to be like when Good Vito competed as an amateur or Michael Krizio or, you know, those kind of guys. The guys who are already looking like pros, they just don't have a pro card yet. Shows like this are just a formality because you need to do those shows to get a pro card. Maybe there should be a different rule. Maybe sometimes, like, the pro judges can look at a physique and, you know, immediately give him a pro card. Because we all knew that Krizio, for example, was gonna turn pro immediately, as soon as he does a pro qualifier. So what's the point for that? He was already a good pro in the IBB Elite. He should just get a pro card. And this guy, I mean, similar story, even though he's not a IBB Elite pro, he's still, I mean, there is no way he's not gonna turn pro. Even if his conditioning is not good. But I think he's gonna be in good conditioning as well. His coach is Dom Cardone, I think they're gonna nail it, and uh, yeah, this is definitely gonna be another new, really impressive, really freaky IABB Pro Elliot Dermond. I'm really impressed with this physique, guys. What do you think? Tell me down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like these daily videos about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.